Let me tell you a story about someone who thought it was a great idea to start making YouTube videos and how years later it has changed their life. Well, this all started about two years ago when I was watching loads of YouTube videos and just consumed by the platform. I was watching videos from all of my favorite creators that were making thousands of dollars every single year online. They were getting sent thousands of dollars worth of free gear and equipment and products and they were traveling the world getting invited to all these big extravagant events by brands and living an absolute dream life. And I thought, well, that looks easy. I can do that too. So then I started saving as much money as I could so I could buy some good camera gear so I could have good production value. I then in the meantime was learning everything I could about cameras, about filmmaking, about microphones, about audio, about YouTube, about the algorithm, about titles, thumbnails. I, my head wanted to explode. I was just absorbing so much information. And then when I eventually bought all of this amazing camera gear, I started making videos. And that is where the next problem happened because that just fell into a hole and plummeted and all my videos just got absolutely no views and was reaching no one. And then I reached a fork in the road after about six months in. I thought, do I just quit and give up or do I just keep persevering and keep going and keep grinding away? And if you're at this point, then this is where you need to listen up because I carried on. I didn't quit and I could have quit and I could have quite happily have just lived a nice peaceful life in the matrix and not had to worry about it. But I carried on and I persevered. And two years later, I've got over 500,000 views on my channel. I've got videos that have reached 50,000 views. I've made over 200 videos and it has exploded my filmmaking business because it's reached an audience that I just wouldn't have been able to reach before. And now I'm at a point where I've now, over the last six months, gone part-time at work with a view to leaving it and going full-time within the next couple of months by 2025. And the best thing is it's also given me a purpose. It's made me feel like I'm more driven. I've got something to strive towards. My ultimate goal is to be able to build this and scale it to a point where I can leave a legacy for my kids to be able to take over one day, as opposed to just getting a little pension payout eventually in the future at some point. So when you reach that fork in the road and when you're thinking of giving up, here's a few things that you can do to keep you on the right path and keep you striving along. First of all is to identify your North Star. Find the reason why you want to do it. If you look at Triple H from the WWE, if you not watch wrestling at all, one thing he says about being successful in the wrestling business is well, you put your destination in the GPS and then you'll figure out the turns and the roads along the way, but ultimately you're going to that destination. You know what that destination is. Because if you're just plodding along making YouTube videos because you want to get a million views, okay, but why do you want to get a million views? Why do you want to get a million subscribers and a gold play button. Why do you want to achieve that? What's that going to be able to give you? For me, I've got two things that I want to achieve. One is to be able to scale and build a business that's successful enough that me and my family can live a life that we want on our terms and be able to travel and do the things that we want and have a great life without having to worry about money or where the next paycheck is coming from. Number two is that I want to be able to build a lasting legacy for my kids so that when they're older, they can, if they choose to, step into this business and take over and be able to grow it and develop it into whatever they want, whatever their vision is. And I want to enable them to be creative enough so that they can just take this in the direction that they want. And that is my North Star. That is my destination. That is what I'm trying to get to. And on the days when I feel like giving up and on the days when I'm feeling miserable and I make videos that get hardly any views and I go backwards in the, the YouTube road, I, I, that is what keeps me going. That is what keeps me driven and focused and passionate because I understand the roadmap and I understand the destination I'm trying to get to. I'm working for myself in five years and that is the next thing. Work for yourself in five to 10 years. Work for your future self because if you think I want to give up, I'm, I can't be bothered with this, then will you thank yourself in five years? It's the same with fitness and anything like that. If you want to be ripped and look like the rock, then you need to put the effort in. You can't just wake up one day and you're going to be ripped and have six pack abs and have 30 inch arms. You need to work out and have the right diet and have the right sleep pattern and have the right routine. You need to have all the right stuff and just be consistent at it. And then in five years, you'll have the results. For the last few years, I've always been working for myself at 40 years old. I know that when I hit 40, I have a certain set of goals that I want to hit when I'm 40. And then when I hit 40, I will thank my 35 year old self for doing all that and for putting the work in and for putting the effort in and then I'll be working for myself when I'm 45 50 and I'll be putting all the effort in for that person and working for myself in that person and trust me one person you don't want to piss off is yourself so keep 
working and keep going and make sure you achieve those goals for you. Next up is to be your own niche, be your own avatar, be your own ideal target audience member. For ages, I went round and round in circles trying to figure out who my channel was for and who I was trying to help. It started off as a tech channel just about gaming monitors and studio tech. Then it went on to sort of camera gear and filmmaking equipment and stuff like that. And then it slowly developed into helping people over 30 with a family to grow on YouTube because that is me. I am a tech nerd. I love cameras. I love filmmaking equipment. I love studio gear and having all the right tech set up to be able to grow on YouTube and have the right stuff that's going to make you great videos. But I also know the struggles of trying to build a business when you're in your 30s and you're struggling with all these passionate driven 20 year olds who are a lot smarter than we are and also have a family and kids because I barely have any time. Who has time? You probably watched this video thinking, how the hell does he make time to make this video? I haven't got time to go to the toilet, let alone make YouTube videos. And I understand that. I barely get any time to myself. But when I do, I utilize it. I by no means tell everyone that I've got 100,000 subscribers and I get 2 million views a month. And you should listen to me because I make 5 million a year. No, I'm still struggling. I'm still making these videos, sharing my knowledge and experience with you. All I try and do is be useful to myself two years ago and share knowledge and wisdom that I wish I would have known two years ago so that if you are in that position, you can hopefully learn from it and get some benefit from it. I still struggle with things. I barely have the time to be able to go to the toilet half the time, let alone make YouTube videos. And that brings us on to the next thing, which is to use your time wisely. Now, before I go any further, if this video is really hitting home and some of the things I'm saying are really sticking with you and you're a YouTuber trying to grow, trying to get monetized, and you're just really struggling with it, then join my completely free community by clicking the link below of YouTubers, content creators, and entrepreneurs who are all on the same journey in the same position you are. And we're all just gonna help each other to grow and develop in this space. And you can get feedback on titles and thumbnails. Plus there's a completely free YouTube training that I do every couple of weeks. So if you wanna be part of that community and you want to grow faster by having that support, then click the link below. Now using your time wisely might sound easy in principle because when you have kids, everything just goes up in the air and time and routines and structures just don't seem to exist. At least that's not what I, my experience of it is. I love cake. <laughs> my kids go to bed and then they wake up at like two in the morning sometimes and want to climb in bed with us and then they wee in the bed and then you have to get out and change the sheets and then you just have no sleep but so i completely understand the struggles that you have i very rarely sit down and watch netflix or watch videos that i don't need to be watching or play video games that much anymore as much as i would love to play the last of us part two or god of war ragnarok or spider-man 2 or call of duty dmz i just don't because i don't have the time any spare time i do have i utilize it effectively so when my kids go to bed i then jump into the study in here in the studio and i start making videos i make a to-do list i literally have a big to-do list here in my notebook yes i still use pen and paper i'm a i'm a dinosaur and a caveman but I make my notes and my to-do list of actionable steps to keep me going. And a lot of people mistake busyness for productivity. They mistake all the stupid little things like changing your channel banner and changing it to, to so that the, to the words align just perfectly and making sure it's all perfect. They think that is being productive. It's not. You need to do income generating activities and do things that's gonna move the needle for your business. That is how you will grow and develop. Make a to-do list. What is gonna actually make me money or gonna get me clients and gonna expose my business and get better exposure and better reach? How can I do all that with the time that I have available? And that is what you need to do. Don't worry about this sort of busyness rubbish. You need to actually use your time effectively. You need to get up early. You don't wanna hear it, but you've gotta get up early. You've gotta stay up later. Whatever you have to do to make it work, you make it work. And that is the difference between the people that are determined and the people that are just uh, doing it because they're casual about it. There are people that will say, oh, I don't have the time. I can't be bothered with it. But you do have the time. You just don't know how to utilize your time effectively. Next up, you need to celebrate every little victory. And this means every new subscriber you get, celebrate that. Every video that gets above average views, celebrate that. 
don't focus on the negative. For example, if you're used to getting about 10 new subscribers a week or a month, then, and you only get five, don't be miserable because you've only got five new subscribers. Celebrate those five new subscribers. It's a step in the right direction. Unless you're making a video and it's literally getting 10 views and you're losing subscribers, then everything better than that is good. You need to focus on the good things and not the negative. I am a victim of this myself as well, and this is why I'm saying it so I can say it out loud and it speaks to me as well because I'm used to getting at the moment about 800 to 1000 new subscribers a month at the time of making this video and last month I only got 500 and a part of me was like oh god that's so annoying but then I had to really ground myself and be like hold on a minute 500 subscribers is still 500 subscribers that's pretty damn good that's a step in the right direction and a lot of you watching this will be like damn i'd bite off my i'd take off my left arm to have 500 new subscribers in a month and that is the thing you you need to be grateful for all the small victories you get even if you only get one new subscriber a week that is still one new subscriber in the right direction everything is progress doesn't matter how fast or slow it is everything is progress so celebrate the small victories next up you need to surround yourself with people that are more successful than you are now i don't mean surround yourself with millionaires and billionaires who are just arrogant and rude and who are going to try and sell you something for ten thousand dollars i mean you need to surround yourself with people who are hungry and successful and if you want to get to the top of the mountain speak to someone who's already climbed it because they will have all the insights that you need in order to succeed. That is exactly why I created my community because I want a community of aspiring YouTubers and business owners and content creators who all can support and celebrate each other. And everyone from all different walks of life, all different experiences, all different areas of expertise can all brainstorm and share with each other and lift each other up and just make each other better. That is why I created it. So if you wanna join that, click the link below because it's growing rapidly and there will also be monthly trainings in there but you need to be not the dumbest person in the room because I don't really like that phrase but you need to be the person in the room that's surrounded by millionaires and people that have succeeded and done the thing that you already want to do if I got the opportunity to go to an event where there was youtubers that have got a gold play button and a million subscribers I would be picking their brain and be getting and absorbing every bit of information I can from them because they've already done that and achieved it. That's why all the videos I make, I'm just trying to be useful to someone who's just starting out because at the time of making this video, I've got nearly, what, 4,000 subscribers and 500,000 views on my channel and I've made nearly 200 videos. So I have some knowledge that people who are just starting would want. They want to know how to do that and how to get to that stage where I'm at now. So that is what you need to do. Position yourself as a person of influence for your audience. You don't have to have a million subscribers. You just have to be better than you was yesterday. So for me, I love YouTube. I think it has absolutely changed the game for me and it can change the game for you as well. You just need to be consistent and determined. Celebrate the small victories, keep pushing, understand your reason why you wanna do it, what's the ultimate destination, use your time wisely and just keep persevering and don't give up and surround yourself with like-minded, passionate, driven people who want you to succeed. And if you're still watching and you've watched all the way to the end, then thank you very much and drop a rocket emoji so that I can give you some love for watching this video all the way through. And I hope you haven't cheated and just skipped to the end so you can find out what today's emoji is. But if you are still wondering if YouTube is worth your time in 2025, then watch this video next.